Okay, so for example three, let's go ahead and just start reading it. And as we read it, copy down the key terms and numeric values. So the mean life of a certain dog is 18. That means I have mu equals 18. A vet has numerous clients worrying that the value is no longer true. Now that would be not equals to, but keep reading. The vet disagrees and claims that the mean is still 18 years. So that means mu equals 18 is our claim. So this is weird because normally the claim is, you know, less than, greater than, not equal to, and very rarely is the claim equal to exactly, but there are situations like this that because of certain complaints, whatever it may be, that we need to actually reiterate or prove that things have not changed. They are the same, they are still equal. Okay, going back. The vet samples the death recordings of 25 dogs, so N equals 25, and keep in mind they need to be dead to know how long they lived, um, and she calculates an average lifespan of 17.2. So we're talking about those 25 death certificates, and so X bar is our sample average from that data. The vet has decided to use the population standard deviation of 2.62, so sigma, the population standard deviation. And we're told to use a significance level of 0.05, which is alpha, so alpha is 0.05. And now on to finding H0 and H1. So we've already said that mu equals 18 is the claim, and now I need to write the alternate or alternative hypothesis. So we know that the parameter and the value stay the same, and all I need to do is insert my inequality, which is either less than, greater than, or not equal to. Because all I have to go off of is equal to, we're gonna go with the opposite, which is not equal to. Maybe the value is less than, maybe it's greater than. Keep in mind the um, vet's clients were just saying that it was no longer true. They didn't actually even make a decision one way or the other. But if your claim is equal to, we always make the alternate not equal to. So I'm ready to find my test statistic. Because I'm sampling, I'm sorry, testing a mean and I have a known population standard deviation, I'll use the formula x, I'm sorry, z equals x bar, et cetera. So I'll be using the z table. I calculate 17.2 minus 18. Remember, we can always get the population value from H0. The standard deviation was given, and the sample size was 25 to get negative 1.5267, et cetera. Since we're using the Z table, which only has two digits to the right of the decimal, I'll go ahead and round my test statistic to negative 1.53. And now I'm ready to calculate the p-value. So in this one, we start with the test statistic of negative 1.53, which is how we always start with the um, p-value. We've mentioned already that we're using the z table. So I go to the edges, since z equals this number. So I have the z-score, and I want area, which is what p-value is. I find 0 0.0630 and check mark. This is the area to the left, which is the closest edge. I have a negative test statistic. So I am on the left side of the standard normal curve, and this table finds area to the left of the standard normal curve. I do have a two-tailed test, so I do need to double my p-value. How do I know it's two-tailed? Because I have not equal to in the alternate hypothesis. So if I take 0 0.0630, double it, which is multiplying by two, I get 0.126. My p-value is 0.126. And now I need to decide whether I will reject or fail to reject H0. If the p-value is less than alpha, reject H0. My p-value is 0.126. We already mentioned that alpha is 0.05. Again, if you need a same digit number, we can always put a zero at the end. And so now I'm comparing 126 to 50, which it's not less than, so I will fail. I fail to reject H0. Always be sure to put H0 at the end of that statement. So going to my flowchart, my claim 
is H naught. I fail to reject H naught. And therefore, I start off with, there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that, and again, I want a meaningful statement so that someone could read just this and decide whether they need to go back and read the supporting data. So I would say the mean age of this type of dog is still 18 years. People know I'm talking about the mean. The claim is that it stayed the same, and that same amount is 18 years.